All right, so here we are beside one of our new log uh, beehives. The idea is essentially that bees don't really like living in apartment box cubicles, the, the square boxes you see all over the countryside. Uh, they don't have the ability to cool themselves or heat themselves properly in there. Uh, also, there's no composting floor. So in the bottom layer here, uh, that rog, the log is partially rotten, just like any um, rotting log would be that bees move, bees move into. And in that composting floor, there's all kinds of, um, what do they call them? They're called pseudoscorpions, and it's a, it's a kind of insect that lives all over the world, and they live symbiotically with honeybees. And the bees will actually allow them to crawl up on them and pinch off the uh, varroa mites that plague all the modern beekeepers. And, uh, and one of the reasons why they plague modern beekeepers is because people are only thinking about making a box for the bees. They're not thinking about making a box for the whole ecosystem that bees thrive in. And, and that's just the common industrial agriculture mistake, right? You, you take chickens and you make them live in a barn with only chickens. Uh, you don't let them live on the landscape with all the other bugs and with the cows and all that. And so bees need a diverse ecosystem as well. You can't just put them in a painted box and make them live exactly how you want them to. And so in a cylindrical hive, you also don't have uh, corners that are cold or hot. And so the bees have to spend far less time regulating temperature in the hive. And that gives them the time to groom themselves. And so at the end of a, a hot day, on a log hive, you'll often see a whole bunch of bees covering the whole outside of the log. And if you look carefully, they're all grooming themselves because you're not overburdening them with work to do because of an artificial environment. And so it's our, our latest experiment. It isn't as um, productive in terms of honey, but um, if your bees aren't dying all the time, and most bees, most beehives don't last very long, like if they overwinter, you're lucky. If they overwinter two years, you're really lucky. So this is more of a model that's like, if we can keep bees alive long term, five, six years, and provide them a decent home to live in, then, uh, then we'll still get that honey out of them. It just won't be in the same amount of time. And so maybe you could have, you know, 50 of these all over your farm instead of 10, but you're just being nicer to the bees and, uh, and in turn, that, that has to be, it just, whenever you have an animal that's happier and less stressed out, your end product, whether it's honey or beef or eggs or whatever, it's always going to be higher quality. Because you can never live better than the animals you're taking care of. It's just, it's a law of nature that can't be beaten. So, I guess we'll keep you posted and we'll see how it goes. <laughs>